Let's move on to another one of these Jaguars receivers who just got possibly gift wrapped. Uh, some opportunity. Some, some decent opportunity. Uh, if I had to guess what these kind of two wide receiver sets were going to look like, and that's kind of what we started this whole thing trying to figure out, uh, my best guess for most often would be Cole on the outside and Moncrief on the outside and two wide receiver sets. Moncrief obviously being kind of the forgotten man in Jack in Jacksonville the entire offseason, the name that, that nobody ever really speaks too, too much. Everyone was really uncertain of this guy's role, and all that's ever been is he's the, he's the butt of the joke of he just scores touchdowns. Right. And that's all this guy ever does. And won't celebrate with his teammates. Right. But I think he did get paid ten million dollars. That's what gets forgotten a lot. Is like I so I have to ha- always had to remind myself: Is this guy got ten mil guaranteed for one year? Right. And you can make of that what you want. I don't really make anything of that. No. No, I don't. Got to go where the money goes. Nah, that doesn't always. I mean, if it's a new regime and the way. last regime paid the guy, then I can see maybe not caring. But like, if this regime just paid to do ten mil, you got to get your money's worth. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're it's just good business. You're paying him for a decent receiver for for one year. That's kind of how it works. You I mean, it. pretty solid receivers get ten million in a year. I mean, like, well, the way it works when you get a one year contract like that is you have they pay you more to not have be on the hook for any more than one year. So it is a prove it deal, and it's Moncrief was banged up. He was good for a couple of streaks there with with Andrew Luck, and then. The wheels fell off for multiple reasons. That and some injuries of it was at Moncrief's to fault. him and exactly. Luck. So, but I think I think I was liking where Casey was going with that, and it, and really even after Marquise Lee got hurt the other night, you could see almost like they just kind of just push push Moncrief into the Marquise Lee spot. And as far as like the crossings underneath and stuff like that, I just feel like I mean they they do a really good job mixing people up. But I just feel like Moncrief might be stepping into a, a safe, like little zone there of some targets, like like you said, gift wrap some opportunity. Well, I agree with Casey. I think he's going to be the one out there in these two wide receiver sets. Obviously, Didi will mix in for him and or Cole on some of these two wide receiver sets because this is just seems to be what this team does. It mixes and matches some. Um, but I I think Cole and Moncrief will be the mainstays mostly on those two wide receiver sets. Moncrief's looked really good through the preseason. Um, him and Didi are tied for most targets on the team throughout the preseason, but Moncrief's been the far more effective player, reeling in eight of those targets to Didi's six. He's got 106 yards on those targets. Didi's got 49. Um, so what I've been seeing out of Moncrief has been really comforting and, and something that I've been you know, keeping my eye on being like, oh, this is pretty intriguing that, that this guy, like Big Co said, is, has, has looked pretty good in, in what he's been doing. and He's look- doing more than just scoring touchdowns. Right. He's running across the field. He's doing comeback routes, a little screen here or there. Like, he just he's, – he's blocking. Like, the blocking to me is what's really impressed me even more than maybe the yards is is his ability to get out there after run blocking, which I think is what's going to – Keep him on the field especially in those two wide receiver sets when they want to run the ball out of that formation. And therefore, just get him targets sometimes, even right. if the play... He, he, I don't think Moncrief is your number one progression on most dropbacks. I don't think he's going to step into that role because you got Didi and, and Cole and, and you know, we'll talk about all, uh, Severian Jenkins later, but I feel like Moncrief, like you said, Jay Wayne, with his run blocking, and he's had he's he's been a good wide receiver. He was a third round startup pick a couple years ago. Obviously, with Andrew Luck, he's had really really good runs and short streaks, and people loved him. But now he's on the waiver wire in some short bench leagues and some mm-hmm. FFPC leagues. He's literally about to be on the waiver wire. So I think that there is a, a a lot of value to be had in a Moncrief. It's just you go back to how much supporting, how much can Blake Bortles support. As far as a week to week basis, can you get some guys in your lineup? Does it even take another injury to this wide receiver core to f- further filter in some targets into uh, certain areas? But you don't, because you just don't feel like that, you know, the Jags are going to drop back and throw it all over the field. So that means it's harder to find a wide receiver that you like, not named Marquise Lee. But obviously, Cole just really showed out last year. And then D.D. Westbrook came on strong. And here comes Moncrief looking good. So it's, it's very puzzling. Right. And, and just like last year, Marquise Lee was really the only guy I wanted to put in my lineup, but I still was intrigued by the other guys. I wanted to get a piece of them, and I'm not 
really sure why. Not necessarily intending to use them, but just liking the talent. Yeah. That was there. Well, I mean, Keelan, Keelan Cole, Cole was, was, was awesome at the end of the Absolutely. season. Absolutely. Keelan Cole was he awesome. He was wide receiver one on one of the last weeks uh, of the season. Yeah. He Keelan had a four one or of five all game stretch where Keelan he was crushing Keelan Cole yards. was killing it. He was a name. In Dynasty Fantasy Football, Keelan well, Cole you, was you, a name. And you saw when Marquise Lee went down in that Texans game, you saw Keelan Cole step up and be the guy right. throughout that game, which was another reason piling on uh, the reason why, you know, don't hate Cole's again for being the guy who takes up right. for most of this it's going to be a team concerted effort yeah. here by all of these guys i think the one guy i don't think i don't think dd's role changes a ton with this injury i think dd's pretty much going to be used how dd was going to be used right and all over the place bunch of shallow crosses right so i, th- I think moncrief and 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 keelan cole and asj that we haven't talked about yet are the are the three biggest benefactor benefactor Benefactors. Sure. benefactors benefactors of this uh of this injury here benefitters benefitters no doubt well <laughs> that but the one thing about and, and it I, is and right still to this kid that right now i still only want to start keelan cole i don't want to start the other two not but, I would, but i'm down to pick them up yeah yeah for sure and well pick them up pick them up well the thing about it is is you got my instincts you on take off one. you take off lee and you have one less quality i mean obviously you take away your best wide receiver uh, you know, Keelan Cole may be more upside, but now you have less rotation. So, you know, right. maybe maybe Didi's role doesn't change, but maybe right. Didi has to be on the well, field more did, because yeah. you're not running out Mark because Marquis Lee's not out there. Yeah, so and I, therefore, obviously, obviously there's an uptick for everything targets, for snaps, targets on the snaps. field. So I didn't mean to say that D.D. Yeah. Westbrook wasn't going to get any more work, but I think his role in this offense kind of stays the same. And they they use the other two guys to fill the Marquis Lee. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking with Moncrief himself, and then Cole, Cole just being maybe that, you know, all right. Well, we don't have Marquise Lee to be our number one progression. Well, let's call a, a clear out in a in a crossing route so we can get a first down with Marquise Lee. Now let's maybe target Keelan Cole in a first read. Let's get a plan. Let's scheme to get Keelan Cole to ball because we know he's our most maybe talented wide receiver. Mm-hmm. You know, based on what he showed. And once you know, obviously he's undrafted, but once the football games start, throw all that crap out the window. Like yeah. Keelan Cole showed you last week for four or five weeks in a row that he is absolutely last year. a real last year. Did I say last week? My mm-hmm. man, good good pickup right there. That he is one. Yeah, he can be one of the best wide receivers on the field. You know, and obviously that was on the Jags, but he's still on the Jags, and they lost Marquise Lee. So I, I feel that like late separation translate to any team. Exactly. Right. Exactly. 